Naples benefits from its link to the Johnsonville Sausage Company. Its founders and former CEOs have retired here, and the first Johnsonville Sausage Marketplace store opened right here in Naples. Call it a sausage link. Today in Naples, the company is debuting its sizzling sausage grill. It's an indoor electric grill designed exclusively for Johnsonville sausages. And we'll be getting a demonstration by Shelley Steyer. You probably know her best as the co-owner of Grace and Shelley's Cupcakes. And she's the one who opened this store here, the Johnsonville Sausage Marketplace. And of course now, she's stepping into the ring in George Foreman territory with this new grill. Let's see what it's all about. Well, Shelly, when you said you had a grill, I, this, I was not expecting this. I mean, everyone's used to George Foreman grill, has little indentations in it, but the actual have spaces where you put the sausage in. That's pretty impressive. So how did that all come about? Well, I, uh, I invented the Johnsonville Sizzling Sausage Grill because uh, I just wanted to have guestless grilling. I wanted the grilling occasion to be easier. Um, we're from Wisconsin, so our grilling season is over in November. Uh, November to May, we're pretty much either in your snowmobile suit or you're done. So, um, and I wanted it to be quicker. Um, people are eating protein all day, every day now. The Atkins diet has helped with some of that. Um, teenagers are insisting on protein as snacks after school and um, all parts of the day. So. Um, about 10 years ago, I decided to try to come up with a grill that would grill Johnsonville brats and Italian sausage uh, quicker and with the get, no guesswork, guestless grilling, and convenient. That's great. So it's, and it's indoor, smokeless. You just plug it in and go, pretty much. This is meant to, if you will, kind of replace outdoor grilling. And it has five, so you can do five at once. And I see they have the little indentations where the grease would run That's out. That's right. That the, the grease the will go right down into okay. the grease tray. So you just, um, this is Johnsonville Original Bratwurst. This is, of course, Charlie Murphy, and this is what's made us so it's, famous. And it's perfect. So you got a package perfect. of five, and it sure. does the whole package at once. Right, and anybody can do this. I mean, our 10-year-old grandchildren do this. Mom's um, still working, and uh, you come home. Now you don't have to make all five small households. You could make one or two. There's a patented sensor probe here. All right. The patented sensor probe will tell you when the product is done. Mm -hmm. So there's the Johnsonville Sizzling Sausage Grill. The Weber folks might be envious of this right <laughs> here, but uh, hey, you know. You put the cover down and latch it. We will turn on the uh, button. So the there's no button. preheating then. There's so no you just close it no. and push the button. I mean, this is literally run in, grill five sausages, 13, 14 minutes. And so there you can hear that the sizzling sausage grill is, it dings when it's done. So you can be preparing your pasta, preparing your lettuce salad, whatever you want to do, walk away 13 to 15 minutes later and you heard the ding, so it's done. Oh, and it's too bad we don't have smell-o-vision here. I mean, this, the aroma is wonderful. We just take the, uh, the cover, oops, and lift it up. Oh. Um, this is the problem solver. Okay, so you don't know when it's done. This is your one right here that um, you can see it pierces it and it tells that oh, it's done. Really evenly cooked. That they're, looks great. Right. Today we're making for you um, original brat quesadillas. Voila! Well, there you have it—the sizzling sausage. Uh, and I've never had a bratwurst quesadilla before. You have I make any—I make burritos out of anything, but I've never have even had a bratwurst you, burrito. But it can, sounds like a good idea. We have this a recipe good. for bratwurst burrito. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> that's good. For in the know column archives, go to NaplesNews.com/slash in the know.